What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Gerald. It is the 5th of November 2015. How is each and everybody doing? You're almost done with the week. I hope you have navigated your week by sidestepping the negativity. Staying grounded and by all means, placing God first in everything that you do. So how are you? You doing all right? I hope so. You know, I just wanted to put this out real quick because it crossed my mind. And maybe it will bring some validation or even some just some understanding to somebody. Look where you were a year ago. Now look where you were five years ago. Now look at where you are now. Do you see a commonality? Has your life gotten better? Or has it stayed the same? I ask this because you know they always that that old parable goes um a hater's job is never done. I know we've all heard it, so my question to you is, what would make you think that the person that you're striving to become? Is just going to get a pass to get there. I mean, think about it. Do you realize how many demons, oh yeah, because the devil's real, that are pissed off with your change? Because it should be right now, you should be in a place of awareness where you are starting to love yourself more. You're starting to take accountability for not only your thought, but what you put out into the world. Because that is still energy. But I know that some people, when you look at it as simply manifesting or projecting their desire. So once again, what makes you think that you're going to get a pass to be you? See, I understand that some of you have been fighting amongst yourself inside. And at times where you wanted to give up, there was always a ray of hope that would be revealed to you in the intended moment that would make you ponder. But why is it when you're in your darkest moment? Yeah, you remember that? How you felt alone? Where was your support system then? See, those demons was hoping that you would make a conscious decision to give up on yourself, to stay the status quo and not see your worth. So yes, it's simple to look at that as a reference point compared to where you've come. But I ask you again, why do you think them demons are going to give you a pass? To your destiny. I don't think so. I think if anything more than ever. More than ever. They pissed off. Because see. They know what's at stake. See they already know who you're going to become. And they also know. The impact that you're going to have. And they cannot. Afford that. To come into fruition. So in exchange, what happens? 
the blocks come. You start to see things fall apart. The fear that has been wrestling inside you is trying to gain footing back as it once was because what's at stake is the old you. The you that did not love you. The you that did not see your worth. The you that was reckless. So, yeah. They're not going to give you a pass. And they're hiding all this in plain sight. Haven't you noticed? Has it been brought to your attention now that every time you make a conscious decision for the betterment of you, you, it seems like now more than ever you get the biggest pushback. People try to make you seem like you're the one that's crazy. No, you're not crazy. You've got clarity. Because, see, you also know that there is ever changing a presence. There's a spiritual war that's around you. And the prize is your spirit. The prize is your destiny. Well, even more, they value the connection that you hold because they know that if they can convince you to fall back down on your knees and give up on yourself, not only will you push their agenda, but they're going to get some free consolation prizes too by the people that you are influenced. So what makes you think you're going to get a pass to your destiny? But I'm going to let you know something, y'all. See, that was already paid the moment that you took your first breath. See, that's why we know them as growing pains. Because, see, that was the agenda all along to block your life, to cause you to give up on yourself to put you in harm's way at all costs, even if it meant losing your mind. I know I'm talking to someone. So I understand right now you may be feeling that nobody understands you because you have a vibrancy inside your spirit. You have an extra pep of step because that is fueled by love. You're starting to see your own inner beauty of what makes you you, what makes you the exception to the rule. Sure, you can be just like all of them, but you also know that they are all broken. They've all made a choice. But just like, just like you, you made a choice to love yourself more. So the price to be paid was the affiliations with those you once knew. So no, you're not going to get a pass. You got to dig a little deeper. You got to pray a little harder. You got to stay a little focused. And yes, you have to embrace the path that you haven't taken before. See, that journey, that road, has your name on it because that road is your life. And it's a beautiful road. It will be filled with nothing but blessings and memories. And you're worth it. And unfortunately, there are those that you may have to deal with on a, a human dynamic that you may have to say goodbye to because Unfortunately, they don't want you to see that either. So let's go back. Do you actually think them demons are going to watch you claim yourself? No, they're not going to do that. They're going to try to take every opportunity to get you to lose sense of self. That may be manifested from memories of the past. This may be interactions of the future, but what's at stake once again is your heart. What's at stake is your mind. 
What's at stake is your body. But what's most desired is your spirit. So, just short and sweet. I know there's somebody right now. You're starting to second guess yourself because the price to be you is dedication to you. And you're frustrated because at times you feel like you're alone. Let me tell you something. You're not alone. You never was. Now, more importantly, this is the time that you connect to him. You allow his angels to walk with you, to protect you. That is why it's so imperative, y'all, that you start your day and end your day in prayer. Because, see, you wasn't given, you wasn't, you weren't guaranteed to wake up. Do you realize that? Do you realize that? That's why I say to each and every one of you, every time you open your eyes, give thanks, because that's another opportunity to change the things that needed to be changed. So don't be afraid of it. I know some of you may be going through some hardships right now, but persevere. Persevere. Because you look at the last setback you went through that you thought you couldn't go you couldn't get through and had you shook i know i'm talking to somebody i want you to look at it like this every time that you deal with a a disappointment or a setback just know it's a setup because your blessings on the other side of it i know i'm talking to somebody but i want to give you a visual aid of this too See, at the end of the day, God knows your heart. He already knows what you're going to do because he created you. But just look at it like this. Envision your problems like going through a tunnel. And when you are approaching that tunnel, think of it as when it was first discovered. Now, just like going through any other tunnel, it's dark in the beginning. You may not see the end of sight, but you still got to persevere. You still got to keep the momentum. You still got to keep the focus. And you keep keeping on. You do that because on the end goal will be your blessing. Don't you realize some of your most impactful things about your life comes with a test? Did you learn the lesson that has been played out? Are you going to fold? Are you going to see your worth this time? Because you got to understand. When you're in that darkness, that's when the devil tries to strike and place fear the most. He tries to get inside your head and tell you, you ain't worth it. You deserved it. You can't do it. Don't push through it. But just know this. Just as you are pushing forward some way. There's somebody praying for your deliverance. There's somebody praying for your breakthrough. Because guess what? Somebody prayed for me, and I'm going to pray for you. But we all got to do the work, right? And you deserve to have the life intended. So guess what? It's not going to come easy. But when it does, not only will it surpass your expectation, but it will also come with the wisdom of what it take, what it took to embrace it. And you're worth it. You're worth it. For those who may be thinking this, in the back of your mind, you just say, I, I don't want to be alone. When will the one come? 
All I can tell you is to prepare. And when you learn yourself, truly learn who you are, you will not only know the empowerment of who you are, but you also know what will determine for that person to have the right to walk with you. You do understand not everybody's supposed to have access to you. You know that, right? I say this out of love. I do. So, take that stopwatch from your life and go within yourself. Fall back in love with you. Because you know what's waiting for you? It's the smile of that little boy or that little girl that's found inside you. And that will be your joy. Because it should be pure. This is something that cannot be given by another human being. Because these are the makings of you. And don't you think you're worth it? I do. I truly do. Because I really believe, y'all, 2016 is going to have some very interesting times for some. Some may face their greatest challenges, and then some will receive their greatest blessings as well. Because the seeds that were planted long ago will start to harvest. But I also know this, too. I know there's somebody that wants nothing more for peace of mind. It's coming. It's coming. But you got to stop beating yourself up. You got to learn. You got to forgive yourself. You got to forgive those who have wronged you. See, that's the price to be you. That's the price to have that peace of mind. And when you decide to do that, you will finally know what it takes to heal. No matter what it is, it's not worth ransoming your peace of mind. Mm -mm. Not at all. I know that needs to go out to somebody because I know you're having a hard time sleeping. You've gotten to the point that you're using sleep aids and your mind still keeps running. I know that's going out to someone. It's because you know you have to do the work and it has to come to pass. Then you can finally breathe. Have courage. So I'm going to bring this home. So those who think that you're going to get a pass, that's not going to happen. I think if anything, some of you are gearing up for a spiritual battle because those demons that have had access to your life are sick and tired. And they've got to ramp up their actions because they don't want you to take that proverbial step, to embrace that courage of, and that fortitude so that you can go through that one thing that you were challenged with. I know I'm talking to somebody. What was that one thing that you've been talking, you've been thinking about it for the last six months, but slowly but surely, the more you think about it, the more clarity you get, and now you're starting to be able to stand up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You're about to have your moment. But be prepared. Because trust and believe. Those demons don't want you to see your smile. They don't. And you know, and this is how you know on, on just on a on an earthly level. For those that have been plagued with challenges in their work environment. It seems like all you want to do is go to work, do your job, and come on home. But it seems like every day you go to work, it's like you are gearing up for a war. 
a battle of wits. It seems like you've got people, you know, it takes 100% effort just to be you. But it seems like to those people that don't mean you well, spend 100% effort to be in your business as, as if they want to live your life, but yet they don't want to support you. But they can't. So you may know it as being envious or jealous or being a being a hater. The reason why you're seeing this is because when they first met you, they already felt that you were special. I know I'm talking to somebody, and they're seeing that your blessing is about to come, and they've been trying to stand in your way. They've been trying to keep you confused from taking that next step because they know that if you take that step, they will not have that influence on your life. Some of y'all might be dealing with that with your family right now. You want nothing more than to heal your family because you know there is a generational curse going on. Had the same problem that's been going on for the last 25 years, and you don't understand. But yet on the, on the flip side, you see them on social media saying everything's okay. Now's the time that you stop living a lie and claim you. Get back to you. What is the price that has to be paid to be you? Only you know that. But the key is having that connection with him. He loves you. You are loved. And you are prayed for. So don't be afraid. You do realize to have your destiny you have to sometimes walk alone. But I also like to look at it metaphorically, like the poem, Footprints. Even though that guy walked the beach, he wasn't alone because God was the one carrying him through his trials and tribulations. And he will do the same thing for you and me. So now it's time for you to breathe. Now it's time for you to acknowledge. Now it's time for you to have the courage to do something different. Don't worry. They're going to they're gonna try to attack you. They're going to try to slander you. They're going to even try to have a smear campaign because, see, they already know that blessings are coming. And those people are terrified because they know that you're speaking truth now. You know that because you are starting to smile now. You're starting to have that twinkle in your eye. You're starting to get back to self. I commend you for that. I truly do. So, don't worry. If you're going through something right now, Look at it for what it is. Take accountability for your part. Allow yourself to heal. And then forgive. Forgive. Doesn't mean you got to forget. Because you also know this. Perhaps what was being demonstrated was nothing more than the lesson itself. God's praying for you. You know I am. I see your worth. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. And you know what? Before I end this, see, you'll know that you're changing too because, see, you know those demons I keep telling you? Because demons are real, y'all. You'll know. The more that you start to invest in you, the more pissed off they get. And here's the funny thing. When it comes to your life, why are they pissed? It's because they know that you're blessed. Love to hear from you, y'all. Bye.